thank you to everybody who sent us your amazing tropical islands. Uh, we loved seeing them. It was like a little bit of sunshine in our day. Um, well, it's Tuesday today and we're on day two now of um, our summer term uh, homeschooling. And we really hope that Daily Draw can become part of your day. And that when you hear the little tune, you know that it's your time to start drawing. So today we've got a really fun little circus tent. Let's start drawing. Okay, we're going to do a lovely circus tent today. So we've got a lot of triangles in it and your triangle really is essentially lots of straight lines. So we've talked about this a lot before about how if you hold your pencil very tight and close in, you're never going to get these relaxed, lovely, sketchy lines we're looking for. So when you're doing your drawing, just on your, on your warm up piece of paper, I just want you to do a few triangles, very loose and relaxed. Hold your pencil very loosely. I find when I'm doing triangles, I make it into my own little dot to dot. And I'll take it down and across. And I'm always turning the paper. So if you feel it's easier to draw when you turn the paper, just turn the paper around. Okay, let's start with our circle. So we're going to start by thinking about where we want to put our circus tent. I'm going to have it smack bang in the middle of my paper. So we'll start with a line. Just go up a few centimetres from the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to put in a line there. And then I'm going to take it and turn it into a rectangle. So we're starting off with a box, really. Now, every, every single drawing, every shape always begins with just a few lines or circles. So that's our beginning bit. And we want quite a high triangle here. So in the middle of your line there, pop a dot up and then we'll join it with a triangle. And I'm gonna just turn my page slightly there. And there we go. So that's our beginning shapes. We've just got a rectangle and we've got a triangle. So you pause and pop those in. We'll put the door in now to the tent. So halfway there, pop a little dot in, and then going down, we're going to pop in a triangle. So turn it into a triangle. So there's one, one, two, and that's going to become our door. And now we want some stripes coming down, but we want it to be quite even. So from there, let's just take that up there and that up there. And from these two, we're going to put in another triangle. So it's lots of lines and triangles. Can you see that? And then we'll take that there and down. And the same here, that one there and down. It's really starting to come together as a circus tent now. So start with that triangle and then put your two lines there and then joining up there. So if you pause. add our nice decorations now so if we just take that line out here this can be a little bit of grass and we'll pop a lovely flag at the top so I just want a little line and then a curve and another curve to create a nice jolly flag at the top and then a bit of bunting we do like our bunting at the art school I have to say now come up here put a little line there with a dot at the top that'll be like your um your tent peg and a curving line rather than a straight line there, a little curve in it. And then on there, we've got some little triangles and that's gonna be our bunting. So I'll pop those there as well. Now, that is our very simple little circus tent. And from there, you could create anything. You could have a man in a top hat, you could have a lion in a cage have whatever you wanted to form your um, circus and we're going to go on now and paint it but if you've got pens or crayons you can just color it but just stick with us so you can see what colors we use but I want you to take off and create this as your very own circus. <music> using watercolour pencils today and I've got 
um, four pencils here that I'm using. I've got a green, a red, a blue, and a black. Now, if you've got a paint palette, what you could do with your paint palette is paint the background, let it dry, and then put your red stripes in. I'm not gonna put a background in this, but you absolutely fill your boots with, um, with the painting. Now, I'm gonna, first of all, start by going over these lines with my red. And some of them I'm gonna to turn to paint and some of them I'm not. So that one I'm gonna leave, but this one I'm gonna to turn to paint and I want to color it. Cause I'd like that to be quite dark. I want it to be a really nice dark color, but I'll go much darker with that line across there and down there. And the same here, so putting in the lines I'm going to colour that one. So as you know, I'm not colouring. What I'm doing is actually putting in the paint pigment. There we go. I really want that to still be red on the outside, but I'm not going to turn that to paint. And then I'm going to take my brush here. I'm just going to very quickly pop it on there. You can see now that is just got to be one of the easiest ways to paint really neatly so that you get these lovely sharp edges and you can see it's very quickly I've not got a soaking wet brush just a touch of water on there I'm even draining bits of it off because I don't want it too wet I'm gonna go with it I like that now that will dry quite quickly but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my blue I'm gonna go up into the flag You could do this any colour you'd like. And what I thought would be really nice is if you've got the time, you could even do these as um, rainbow colours because we're all thinking lots about rainbows and saying thank you to all the key workers everywhere. So you could create a rainbow set of bunting and a rainbow flag for your circus and make it really lovely. I'm going to just use a little brush here. It doesn't matter, just use whatever brush you've got. I'll turn that a bit to paint, but I'll keep the outside of it. I'm going to do the same with each of these, just a touch in them to turn them to paint. Really doesn't take much to do that. And then the last little bit here, I'm going to go underneath with some green for the grass. And what I might do couple of bits of grass there and you can do the same with yours and what if you watch oh dear not very clean brush there as I go like this can you see how it's catching hold of the pigment and just taking it down a little bit so it takes it takes the edge off and then we're going to finish it off with the black yeah along there Went up a bit there, along there. And here in the door, what is inside this circus tent? I wonder. You can see I'm really putting the pigment on there. I'll just take my brush and I will. And the last thing to do is just to sign it and finish it off with your own special decorations. And then please do send us your circus tents. We would love to see them. Hope you really enjoyed that and I hope you can go off and make it your own now. Really you could change the colours, you could add lots of little surface animals in but um, make sure you send the pictures to us because we really 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 love seeing them so you can do it in your Facebook comments or Instagram or Twitter but we would love to see them. Wednesday tomorrow and we know it's the middle of the week and this is not an easy week because we all try to get used to all these new routines. So we've got a little treat for you tomorrow and we're going to be doing illustrations from some favourite Roald Dahl books. So uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow. The lesson will be available from 11 and we can't wait to see you with some Roald Dahl. Mm -hmm.